XLR860 Auto Sampler Installation. This video will help you install your XLR860 Auto Sampler with a simple configuration. This video uses a common version of the XLR860 Auto Sampler. Your Auto Sampler may have minor differences from what is shown. For additional information, refer to the quick installation guide included with your Auto Sampler or the Operator's Manual on the CD. Before you begin, familiarize yourself with the parts of the Auto Sampler. The two main components of the XLR860 are the Auto Sampler head and the Auto Sampler base. In front are the Z-Drive assembly, the arm, the rinse station, the power indicator, the standards rack, the chain, and the sample tray. On the back are the auto sampler head power switch, the serial ports, the USB port, and the auto sampler head power connector, the Z-Drive rotor, and the peristaltic pump. The base has its own power switch, serial connector, and power connectors. You will be installing the Z-Drive assembly and thumb screws, the rinse station, the rinse tubing block, rinse and waste tubing, the sample probe and clamps, and the power supply with power cord. You will need a Phillips head screwdriver and a 5 seconds inch hex key or hex screwdriver. Mount the auto sampler head. Place the head assembly on the rails of the base. Align the interlocking pegs as shown. Tighten the two screws with the hex key. Attach the chain to the base using the three supplied screws. Mount the Z-Drive. Find the Y-axis carriage on the arm of the auto sampler. Slide the Z-Drive onto the arm until the two holes align with the matching holes in the Y-axis carriage. Secure the Z-Drive to the carriage using two thumb screws. Tighten the thumb screws using your fingers. Connect the Z-Drive cable. Feed the cable through the rear guide block and around the rotor. Tighten the nut to secure the cable sleeve to the guide block. Position the cable so about 2 mm of cable extends past the clamp. Hold the cable against the rotor and secure by finger tightening the thumb screw. Connect the rinse station. Install the rinse tubing block on the left edge of the auto sampler base. Press the rinse station into the mounting bracket. Locate the rinse source tubing and drain tubing. Connect the rinse source tubing to the top of channel 2. Connect the drain tubing to the bottom of channel 1. Locate the two short pieces of tubing with an adapter in the middle. Pass the larger ends through the back of the bracket on the side of the auto sampler. Connect the smaller end of one adapter tube to the bottom of pump channel 2. Connect the smaller end of the second adapter tube to the top of pump channel 1. Connect the tube from the bottom of channel 2 to the bottom fitting of the rinse station. Connect the tubing from the top of channel 1 to the top fitting of the rinse station. Install the sample probe. Insert the sample probe clamps onto the Z-axis slider. You may need to loosen the nuts on the clamps before installing the probe. Guide the probe straight down through the Z-axis slider until the tip of the probe is level with the bottom of the Z-Drive. 
tighten the probe clamps and secure the sample tubing. Power and communications. Check that both power switches are turned off. Connect the two serial cables located in the chain to the auto sampler head. Connect the power cable to the connector on the auto sampler head. Connect the COM1 serial cable from the chain to the host computer. Connect the COM2 serial cable to the auto sampler base. Connect the 5 pin cable from the chain to the left connector on the base. Connect the 6 pin cable from the power supply to the right connector on the base. Power on the base, then power on the auto sampler head. 